in this session you are going to know about the environmental domain as well as the energy domain related topics here coming to the environmental domain the some of the application related to the environment domain one is a weather monitoring air pollution monitoring noise pollution monitoring forest fire detection uh, other one is a river flood detection here these are all different applications of the environment coming to the first one weather monitoring what is the weather monitoring here the iot based weather monitoring system can collect the data from the number of sensors that means right side diagram shows the different sensors you are attaching attached that means such as for collecting the temperature humidity pressure and then send this data to the cloud based application and then storage backends that means for sending the cloud based application for sending the cloud based application that means there is a cloud based applications are there this monitoring system for sending and then cloud based application as well as the storage backend you are using this systems the data collected in a cloud can then be analyzed visualized by using cloud based application here in the weather monitoring weather in monitoring in the sense of temperature levels the temperature humidity levels pressure levels you are identifying that means you can analyze the collected data analyzing that means you how to analyzing after analyzing this data you will identify this weather is suitable that means the weather related information and then there is a weather alert can be sent to the subscribed users from such application that means there is a possibility as, uh, is there that means you will send a different weather monitoring information and then weather and air quality monitoring kit capable of recording and uploading uploading the information about the temperature humidity air pressure light levels and uv levels and then carb carbo monoxide nitrogen dioxide and then smoke levels to the internet that is a simple representation and then in this case you will identify in the some of the qualities humidity temperature air quality during the bus path the weather monitoring system based on a wireless sensor networks the wireless sensor networks also you will provide the some quality of information that is a simple representation about the weather monitoring system the coming to the next important system air pollution monitoring system here you will identify the iot gateways the data processing that means uh, the air pollution that means how can you get the air pollution the iot based air pollution monitoring system can monitor the harmful gases here can you assume harmful gases co2 is a harmful gases co no no2 these are all are the harmful gases can monitor that means this system monitor these gases by factories automobiles using some sensor here the collected data here also can be analyzed to make a informal decision on a pollution control approaches that means in order to get the some decision on a pollution control approaches you are using different things here the real time ai quality monitoring system is presented here that means uh, in this is a real time air monitoring system system that consists of several distributed monitoring stations that communicate via wireless the wireless with the back end server using the mission to mission communication an air pollution system is described in a integrates the single chip microcontroller and then several air pollution sensors are there and then not only that information there is a gprs modem and a gps modules are available there is a gps modules also available that is a simple representation for the air pollution system and then coming to the next important one noise pollution monitoring system noise here how can you identify the noise noise in the sense for example where you are identify the more noise in cities that means urban areas here due to the growth urban development the noise levels in cities have increased even become a, a some high in a, some cities the noise pollution can cause the health hazards for the human 
that means why it is getting the health hazard because of the sleep the sleepless nights and then sleep sleep disturb disturbances and then stress because of that reasons here you will have the health hazards the noise pollution monitoring can help in generating the noise maps in a city this kind of systems help the right side diagram shows the the system helps in a cities that means for generating the noise maps the urban noise maps can help the policy makers in a urban planning and making the policies to control the noise levels near the residential areas school and then park and then there is a iot based noise pollution monitoring system can be used the number of noise monitoring stations that are deployed at a different places in a city the data on a noise level from the station is collected on a server or in a cloud that means you will collect the data on a cloud based that means certain kind of everywhere you will use the cloud based application that means you will get the data the data stored into the cloud based application and then the data on a noise level from a station is collected on a cloud based application the cloud data the cloud that means the collected data this data is aggregated to generate a noise map the noise mapping study for the cities that means uh, so the uh, presented which reveals the cities suffered from a serious noise pollution that that means this is a some description regarding the noise monitoring system the next important one forest fire detection system there is a forest fire detection system the forest to fire in the sense the forest fires can cause the damage to natural resources it may be a property human life that means it will cause the damage to the human life there can be different causes for the forest fire what are the different causes for the forest fire the lightning lightning main important cause for the forest firing and then lightning human negligence and then some sparks from the rock falls these are all causes of the forest fire there is a um, some system is there the early detection of forest fire can help in minimizing the damage the iot based forest fire systems can use the number of monitoring nodes deployed at a different location in a forest each monitoring node collects a measurements on a Con the measurements on a condition including the temperature humidity light levels and then a system for the early detection forest system is described one person describes that system that means that provides a early warning of the potential forest fire and uh, estimates the scale and uh, intensity of the fire in its uh, materializes and then a forest fire detection system based on a wireless sensor network is presented and then the system uses a artificial neural networks the artificial neural networks focus on the sensing data correspond to the multiple attributes of the forest fire the, that means what are the multiple attributes may be temperature humidity and then the um, viable system this is a forest fire detection system other one is a river flood detection here if you see here there is a river the river causes are there river flood detection system what is a river flood detection system what is an the river flood can cause the extensive damage to the natural and human resources the human life also it will cause the damage the river floods occur due to the continuous rainfall which cause the river levels to rise the flow rates in to increase the rapidly early warning of the floods can given by the monitoring the water level and flow rate the iot based river flood monitoring system can use the use a number of sensor nodes that monitor the water level that means the monitor the water level that is called here ultrasonic sensor that means flow rate by using flow velocity sensor the data from the number of such sensor nodes is aggregated in a, a server or in a cloud the monitoring appli applications rise 
alert when a rapid increase in a water level and flow rate uh, de uh, detected is detected and then and then another important one here is a the home energy energy uh, information the next important domain here is a energy what is the energy here the application of energy domain the smart energy system here is a smart grid renewable uh, renew, renewable energy systems and then prognostics here coming to the first important that means it indicates the smart grid information renewable energy in, uh, integration and then prognostic health monitoring management it shows that the first one the smart grid here what is a smart grid the smart grid is a a data communication network integrated with the electrical grid that collects and analyzes the data captured in a, a near real time about the power transmission distribution and then consumption the smart grid technology provides a predictive information recommendation to the utilities and their suppliers and their customers on how best to, to manage the power that means based on a power related information and then the smart grid collects the data regarding the electricity generation consumption and then storage the distribution and then equipment health data the smart grids use a high speed fully integrated two way communication technologies for the real time information and power exchange by using iot iot based sensing and measurement technology the health the equipment and integrity of the grid can be evaluated that means the integrity of the grid can be evaluated by using some of the technology and then smart meter the smart meter is one of the component here that can capture the almost real time consumption remotely control the consumption of the electricity electricity and remotely switch off supply when required the power theft can be prevented using the smart metering the smart metering is used to preventing the power theft by analyzing the data on a power generation transmission and consumption of the smart grid can improve the efficient throughout the electro elect, electric system the storage collected in analyze analysis of the smart grid data in a cloud can help the in a dynamic optimization of the system operation and then maintenance and then planning the cloud based monitoring of the smart grid can uh, the smart grid here the, there is a cloud based monitoring of the smart grid is there that means that grid here that consists of data thus the smart grid data can improve the energy usage levels via energy feedback to the user coupled with the real time pricing information the real time demand the real time demand response management strategies can be used for a lowering the peak demand and overall load via appliance that means appliance control and energy storage mechanism and then there is a one thing uh, there is there the condition monitoring data the condition monitoring data collected from the power generation and transmission system can help in a detecting fault and predicting the outages here this is a something about the smart grid system coming to the next important one renewable energy system here renewable energy system means what is a renewable energy system due to the variability in a output the output from the renewable energy sources what are the renewable energy sources here the solar sources the diagram shows the solar and wind wind energy sources solar and wind energy sources integrating them into the grid can cause the grid stability and reliability problem here the variability the variable output produces a local voltage swings that can impact the power quality the existing grids were designed to handle the power flows from the 
centralized generation sources to the loads by using transmission and distribution lines when a distributed renewable energy sources are integrated into the grid they create a power bidirectional power flow for the for which the grid were not originally designed the iot based system integrated with the transformer at the point interconnection measures the electrical variable and how the that means how much power is fed into the grid to ensure the grid is stability one solution is to simply cut off the power production for wind energy system the closed loop control can be used to regulate the voltage at the point of interconnection which coordinate with the, that means which coordinate the wind turbine outputs and to provide a reactive power support the next important one prognostic here what is a prognostic very important topic in this case the prognostic here is a energies the prognostic here in the system such as a power grids real time information collected using a, a specialized electric sensor called as a pmu here that means the energy systems what are the energy system here Pro, prognostics and what are the energy systems the smart grid power plants and then grid turbine farms and then these are all energy systems have the number of critical components that that must function correctly so that the system can perform their operation correctly for example a wind turbine the wind turbine having the number of critical components and then for example bearing um tuning tuning gears that means that must be monitored carefully as a wear and tear in such critical component a sudden change in a operating condition of the machines that cause a result failure in such systems the power grid and real time information is collected using a electrical sensors that is called here pmu here the information uh, received from pmu must monitor in a real time for estimating the state of a system and for predicting a failure the energy system can have a thousands of sensors that gather gather the real time maintenance the real time maintenance of data continuously for the condition monitoring and failure prediction and then very important one iot based prognostic real time health monitoring system can predict the performance of the mission and energy system by analyzing the extent of deviation of the system from its normal operating profile analyzing the massive amount of maintenance data collected from the sensor in energy system and equipped with equipped that means equipment can provide a prediction for a impending failures so that the reliability and the availability can be improved this is a very important thing here that there is a some framework is there here the framework for the storage processing analysis and mass mission uh, mission maintenance data collected from the large number of the large number of sensors embedded into the industrial mission in cloud computing environment was also defined here that is a simple representation of the prognostic and then uh, coming to the next important one retail that means you will discuss later about this one okay